Three, two, one. With Shang-Chi on its way to theaters and early reviews being impressive, we thought we'd take a look behind the scenes of the upcoming movie to prepare for it. We will look at how some of the biggest scenes were pulled off, Shang-Chi star Simu Liu's impressive workout routine, and what it was like to bring the real Mandarin to the big screen. Let's take a look. Whoa, what is that? Just because Shang-Chi is an origin story doesn't mean it will be small in scale, and it will be one of the biggest movies in the MCU in terms of action set pieces and spectacle. In a new featurette, Shang-Chi actor Simu Liu has said that the movie at its core is very much a Marvel movie, meaning that it will not skimp on the big action scenes and mind-blowing visuals. Liu continued saying that with this being a Marvel movie, it comes with a promise of big action scenes. But not only that, a promise to the quality of the sequences that the film will deliver. The MCU's head guru Kevin Feige said that this is a film built for the big screen, and is one that is a mind-blowing spectacle that is as big as any Marvel movie that's come before it. Which is, you know, setting the bar pretty freaking high. You got this. They used an example of one scene that promises to be pretty darn awesome, and that is the fight sequence taking place on a bus. While Aquafina drives it at speed down the slopey streets of San Francisco, which we got a pretty decent glimpse at in the trailer. The movie's fight coordinator, Andy Chang, said that for this sequence, everything had to be just perfect, while Shang-Chi's director, Destin Daniel Cretton, added to this even more, saying that it was something that has never been done before, taking a bus down the San Francisco hills and crashing it into real cars. But um, let's face it, that would be pretty strange if he had done that before. According to Simu Liu, they wanted to get the most they could from the bus and use every single inch of it. Not only using it as a tight vessel that Shang-Chi and his enemies are contained in, but a moving, physical wrecking ball hurtling through the city streets, smashing things up on its way. What up, y'all? It's your boy Clev. To get the movie to be as big and as awesome as possible, the production worked with some of the best stunt and fight coordinators in the business, and Cretton even released a video on his Instagram last year showing off some of the fight choreography as the stuntman used some pretty sweet gymnastics and fight moves while rehearsing. Aquafina said that working with the stunt team was amazing and said that their work ethic and everything they're doing is incredible to witness. As we mentioned, some of the people that the production brought in were top-tier professionals, with Fala Chen, who plays Ying Li in the movie, saying that she trained with the world champion of Tai Chi and that she was unsurprisingly amazing. Legendary actor Tony Leung, who is listed as playing Wen Wu, but we know that guy's gonna be playing the Mandarin, come on! Anyways, Tony said that he took two weeks to rehearse the fight sequences, and that it was a symbol of the aggressiveness and the anger of the character. Which is music to my ears, we need a great Mandarin. We deserve one after the whole Iron Man 3 fiasco. Other than Tai Chi, which is a very flowy style, the movie uses a number of other martial arts styles, such as Wing Chun, which is a much more aggressive and combative form of martial arts. For the fight scenes in general, Cretton was inspired by the almost ethereal wushu style from Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and a number of sequences, such as the bus scene, pay homage to one of the best martial art performers in the film industry, Jackie Chan. As well as Jackie Chan's filmography, Cretton was inspired by the Ip Man series, Tai Chi Master, and Kung Fu Hustle, among others. The movie promises not only to be a big blockbuster movie, but a more personal and intimate one, and Cretton, who had no previous interest to work on a comic book movie, took the project on to help create a world and character that Asian children could look up to and see themselves in. Marvel also wanted a lead actor who was of Chinese descent for the role of Shang-Chi, and when casting looked at a number of actors including Louis Tan, and a Toronto-based actor and part-time stuntman who kept on contacting Marvel to work on a project together by the name of Simu Liu. Before being cast as Shang-Chi, Liu was interested in playing Namor or Sunfire, but ended up getting the role of a character which Marvel were open to adapt. Simu Liu has undergone extensive training to get into the Marvel shape, performing deadlifts, box jumps, sprints, med ball slams, pull downs, and lateral raises, just to name a few, in order to build up that explosive power. While he did have some martial arts training already, he also underwent further training, learning the different styles seen in the movie. 
Shang-Chi will also focus on friendship and the relationship between Shang-Chi and Aquafina's Katie, who we don't know a whole lot about other than the fact that she will be the real heart of the movie. Right. With the huge scale and scope behind it, Shang-Chi is a movie built for the big screen, hence why it's not immediately going to Disney+, Plus, and it promises to be a pure visual spectacle. It seems that this movie's really not going to be pulling any punches. I'm sorry, that was too easy. 